I didn't see you there. And for those who don't know who I am, my name is Chusato, one of the smartest minds on the planet. Or as you might know me as the teen genius, as well as the owner of Sato Corporation. Now come with me and see the life of the, t of the daily life of a teen genius. So after I, I wake up, I usually go to the bathroom to brush my hair, as well as brush my teeth. And then once I'm done with that, I go back to my room, as well as to put on my daily clothes. And my attire is the same every day. For one of those a special occasion, I usually just have something special to wear. So yeah, just get out of my room so I can change first. Ha, ah, I'm done changing. Uh, you know what, these shorts are kind of a bit too small on me. I'm gonna have to have Lance buy me some new pants next time when he gets to the store. But anyways, after I'm done changing into my regular clothes, I usually go down to the kitchen and have some breakfast. So yeah, for breakfast, I usually cook myself something for breakfast. So for breakfast, I usually have some eggs, some toast, as well as some vegan sausage. Well, good morning there, Miss Sato. Is there anything that you need help with today? Oh yes, B. Lance, um, can you check the pantry to make sure that we have anything? And if we don't have something, then can you just run down to the store and grab some? Well, sure thing, Miss Sato. I'll go to the pantry to look to see if we have everything. All right, and if, if we're missing anything, then you c then go to the store. Don't worry, I'll give you some money, and then I'll give you a tip once you get back. And then once I'm done having breakfast, so yeah, after I'm done having breakfast, I take my car to work. But usually if they don't need me, I just stay home and do whatever. Like, you know, play video games, tinker around with some machine. I've been trying to figure out how that silver Sonic robot works. So yeah, I usually take my favorite red car to work, but someone crushed it with a giant flying boat. Oh wait, you're still here? You know, that's alright. I usually don't don't take my red car out. I, I have other cars because I'm rich, you know. So yeah, I'll take those once my red car is getting repaired. If it'll ever be repaired. So yeah, welcome to Sato Corp. A multi-billion dollar industry. The home of scientific intervention. The home of improvement. The house of progress. It goes by many names. So yeah, Miss Sato, I was wondering if you're busy with anything. Oh yeah, I'm not really busy. Go on. So I was wondering if I can have next Wednesday off. Well, you see, oh yeah, you sure you can. Wait, really? Yeah, I'm not really reef or anything. Of course you can have the day off. Well, well thanks, Miss Sato. No problems, man. So yeah, this here is Dolly. She's usually the one who's running the place while I'm not here. And will continue to run the place until I turn 18 in two years. So yeah, Dolly, is there anything that you want me to do right now? Well, not really, Misato, but I've got a question. Who's this, who's this camera guy that's following you around? Oh yeah, I'm doing a documentary on my daily life. You know, for my sweet 16. Oh really? Well, happy birthday, Misato. Oh please, the honor is mine. So yeah, I just came to check in to see if there's anything that's needed for now. Well, if I were you, I'd probably check in with Dr. Flask and Sentry Fugees. Oh, Mr. Fugees, what could he want this time? Well, he just said that he needed to talk with you for a bit. Oh, well, it better be really important. I just don't really want to keep him waiting for long. Usually with him, it's always important. Alright, but before that, I'm going to go check in on with my one of my bestest friends. A member of my junior research staff, Dr. Flask. Alright, and now I'd like to introduce you to one of my bestest friends, Dr. Flask. Oh, well, good morning there, Miss Sato. What brings you down to the lab today? Well, for my Sweet 16, I'm doing a documentary on, on like, my daily life, so I have a cameraman here, too, that's going to follow me around today. Oh, a happy birthday, Miss Sato. Well, thanks, Dr. Flask. I'm wondering today if there's, like, anything that you want me to do today. I don't think there is, really, but Mr. Fuji says that he wants to see you. Still again? He hasn't been off my back ever since I joined Team Fazbear's and made that advanced armor. Well, Mr. Fuji's does have good intentions, though. Alright, I guess I could just go and ch check on him and see what's up. Hey, Mr. Fuji's, what seems to be the issue? Oh, good day then, Miss Sato. You see, I have some concern of the weekly budget. Seeing that insurance for a monastery, a flying boat, and four vehicles are part of the weekly budget. So, what really gives? Look, they're my friends. I'm I'm doing them a favor, you know. But look, Misato, 
I'm not trying to judge you or anything, but all I'm saying is maybe you should tone down with the spendings a bit. Like, you can't be giving away money like we have an infinite amount of income. Well, don't we technically have an infinite income? Yes, but you should probably take my advice as... Well, your company spendings are a bit... Concerning. Look, I'm trying to help people, you know. And I'm also suggesting what's best for the company. So can you just please tone down the spendings? Alright, fine, Mr. Fugees. I'll tone down the spendings a bit. But only a month. Only a month, alright? Just don't... Just don't get on my back, alright? I'm busy making a documentary on my daily life, so yeah. I'll see you later. And since it's my birthday, I'm going over to my boyfriend's place to see if he has any gifts for me. Like, who doesn't give their partner something for their birthday? Coming. Hello? Oh, hey, Chu. What's up? Hey, Tasuki. So today's my birthday, and I want to know if you got some anything for me for my birthday. Like, you know, any presents? Wait, your birthday is today? Wait, don't tell me you forgot my birthday, you big idiot. What, me? Forgetting my girlfriend's birthday? Oh no, 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 I would never forget your birthday. You know, I actually got your birthday present in the house right now, so that would need to stay here, and I'll go get it real quick. Um, uh, Miss Sato, do you know that he fo definitely forgot your birthday? Of course he forgot my birthday, you dipsticks. But again, it's not his fault that he forgot. I should probably just appreciate what he gets me. And then just go out of my day. Alright, true, I know how much you like writing stuff, so I decided to get you the world's largest pencil. Which is definitely not a regular pencil that has been enlarged by pin particles, but it's indeed the world's largest pencil. Oh, and I also got you something else. Oh, you got something else? Oh, you might actually be trying this time. You see, I know you like tinkering and whatnot, so I decided to give you something to tinker with. A Nindroid. Wow, thanks, Suzuki. Like, the pencil I actually, like, don't mind. And the ninja I also don't mind either. Like, I actually quite appreciate this these presents that you give, gave me. Hey, don't mention it, Chu. I'm um, Suzuki. can you help me study for my GED exam? Sure thing, Toyo. I'm sorry, Chu, I gotta help my sister with her GED and whatnot. Oh, no, that's actually fine. You can go help her. That's, that's pretty nice of you, be being kind to your sister. Alright then, have the n a nice rest of your birthday. Thanks, I will. Let me just load these into my car and head back home. Ha, ah, home sweet home. Ah, Miss Sato, I see that you have returned from your little errand run. Yes, I have, Mr. Lance. So yeah, when I went to the pantry this morning, I realized that we were all out of Pop-Tarts, so I went to the store and got some more Pop-Tarts. Well, that's pretty kind of you, B. Lance. Here's a tip for your service. Why, thank you, Miss Sato. Yes, you're actually much kinder than my old butler. And Miss Sato, do you want me to prepare your bath for you? Oh no thanks, I could probably do it myself. Boy, that was a long day, but at least I can finally... I don't think I even have the energy to tinker with some robots. Alright, I guess I could just go to bed now. Ah. <sighs>